So Bezat Hashem, with help from heavens, we're so super happy to be able to express our hearts freely, surrounded with good friends and with holy souls of truth seekers, amazing people who are searching for the light and asking for a great salvation. We were talking about it in the past many times, even though that we are very thankful to Hashem on the great, great wonders and miracles that we are experiencing on earth while walking through the valley of death, the challenges, the darkness, the difficulties. And we see the wonders on daily basis and we are grateful and thankful and full of admiration to the Creator for the great things that He gives and shares on a daily basis to us in our lives, from the most simple things, fruits and nice smells and views, amazing opportunities to sit and learn Torah, being in touch and connected and close to our friends and to our loved ones, with our families, surrounded with good people around us, wonderful and holy communities, all the great things that we have the merit to enjoy. But the real truth is that even though we are super thankful, we, in a very honest way, we'll put it that way, we want more. We want more for our children. We want more for ourselves. We want more for us to be able to make our ancestors proud of us. And we want more for Hashem and for the Torah. We want to be able to bring down to the world the real light of the Creator and not only the light that is covered and dressed in layers that are filtering the light for our tiny vessels. We're asking from the Creator of the universe to extend and expand and making our vessels wider, larger, greater, for us really to be able to enjoy His grace, His beauty, and His unconditional love. The truth is shining from within, but we want it to break out through the curtains and conquer the world with the light of His unconditional love. And we believe that it can happen, and we believe that it shall come. But for that, we need the real great mercy of Hashem, of the Creator, to be seen. Therefore, I'm sending you to be honest in your prayers, in your personal prayers, in your Hid Bodeduyot, and to demand and to ask and to beg and to cry and to scream and to express your heart to Hashem and to be honest and truthful and to express the real pain of your hearts while being grateful and thankful and appreciative for the wonderful things that we're enjoying from on daily basis, from the real great blessing of Hashem. But to be honest and to tell Him, we want you to build the third and eternal temple of God that in that day will be called the temple of God, the house of prayer to all nations. We want the complete darkness to disappear from the world. We don't want to deal and to win wars against the evil inclination. We don't want to win another battle, another round, another fight, another war. We want the complete redemption already. We want all the animals to love each other. We want all the nations 
to respect each other. We want all the universe to be united with one purpose, to know the Creator, to find the treasures that have been treasured inside each and every single one of us, and for us to be proud and happy of ourselves, for us to be able to walk freely, proudly, with our hearts widely open, to be able to sing, to be able to laugh, to express our faith, to express our feelings and emotions, not to be scared of people's opinion, not to be scared of plagues and illnesses and weaknesses that are falling down. We are hoping for better days. The individual prayer, the personal request that comes out from an honest heart is the strongest, most powerful tool that we have been blessed with by the Creator. He gave that tool to our ancestors, to Abram, to Isaac, to Jacob, and to their holy wives, to all the righteous people throughout the generations. The light that been given to us is the light of faith. The way of expression of that blessing is by opening our hearts, using our mouth and the power of our thoughts and imagination for that, to hope and to dream on better days and to express that dream until it will come true in our individual prayers, in our Hid Buddha Duyot. Therefore, every person must go to a quiet place in your own zone, in the place that you feel comfortable at, and to speak your heart to the Creator like you speak to your best and most honest and truthful, loyal friend, to talk to your brother, to talk to your partner, to talk to your loving parent, to your Father in Heaven. Talk to the one that holds the keys for the salvation and complete redemption of the universe and tell him that you ask him, please reveal your unconditional love, redeemed us all, save us all, heal us all, protect us all, remove the darkness and the angel of death from this world that we will never be threatened again. Save our lives, help our souls, and bring the complete redemption to all this generation. Open our eyes to see the resurrection of the dead, and may we see that with all our loved ones. The building of the temple and the great redemption in our days. Amen. Can you hear it, son? Thank you.